Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today, we're gonna talk about something called DNA. It's all about the instructions inside our cells and what make us us. I love DNA so much that I went to college and I decided to learn all about DNA and get a degree in it. And so this is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world and I'm gonna share it with you today. It's called Grow, Secrets of Our DNA it's by Nicola Davies and illustrated by Emily Sutton. Here we go. All living things grow, plants, animals, and humans. The way living things grow helps them to survive in different places. Some grow fast to make the most of seasons or years when conditions are good. Desert, four o'clock plants take advantage of rare rain showers by growing from seed to seedling in just 10 days. Turquoise killifish hatch, grow to the size of your little finger and lay eggs in 15 days, just in time before the puddles they live in dry up. Others grow slowly so they can keep going when times are tough. Bristlecone pines endure harsh mountain conditions by taking 40 years to grow to the size of a pencil. They can live for more than 4,000 years. In the deep Arctic Ocean, where it's always cold and dark, quahog clams can take over 100 years to grow to be as big as your palm. How much living things grow is important too. Some never get very big while others can grow to be enormous. Both sunfish and leaf chameleons start life pretty small. Leaf chameleons stay small, never growing larger than a matchstick and are able to live under leaves. Sunfish on the other hand have the whole ocean to swim in and can grow to be huge. Growing isn't only about time and size, it's also about change. Seeds don't grow into bigger seeds, but into trees and flowers. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. You grew from a tiny blob, smaller than a dot. Right there. You were two days old, six years old, 10 years old. But your body didn't just get bigger, it changed shape. It became more complicated and capable of doing more things. Without even thinking about it or telling your body what to do, you will go on growing and changing as you become an adult. From the time you are the size of a dot, your body has been following a set of instructions. These instructions aren't written in words, but in code. The code is made from doxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. If you could see DNA, it would look like a spiral ladder with lots of rungs or steps. There are four kinds of building blocks or bases shown here in different colors. Two bases form a step or a base pair. The spiral ladder of DNA has thousands and thousands of steps and the steps can be ordered in many, many ways. The pattern of the steps creates the coded instructions for building living things. We call that pattern the genetic code and we call each instruction a gene. Four genes to shape a nose, more than 100 genes to help give hair color and texture, at least 16 genes to give your eyes their color. It takes more than 20,000 genes working together to build a human body and keep it running. That's about six and a half feet or two meters of DNA. 
Luckily, DNA is very skinny and folds up so small that you'd need a microscope to see it. That's how a copy of your genetic code fits inside of you when you were just a dot and how it fits inside almost every one of the cells that make your body. Half of your genetic code comes from your biological father and half from your biological mother. That's why you may look a bit like both of them. The exact mixture of instructions that you get from your biological parents isn't exactly like that of your biological brothers or sisters, if you have any, unless you have an identical twin. It's unique. By, standing, by studying how similar or different genetic codes are, scientists can tell who is related to whom. Although your genetic code is unique, it's very similar to that of your biological family and shows that you are closely related it's also quite similar to the genetic code of every other person on earth because we are all human beings. Animals and plants have genetic codes too. Human genetic code is very similar to chimpanzee genetic code. Chimpanzees are our closest animal relatives. Our genetic code is less similar to the dog genetic code even less similar to that of a goldfish and far less similar to that of a rose. We share some parts of our genetic code with all living things, those that are alive now and those that have lived on earth before. Although we are so different, our DNA shows us that we are all part of life's big family. Our DNA connects us with one another and to our ancestors, back through time to the very start of life on earth. Because all life has always been written in one language. All right, friends, that is that. I hope you enjoyed learning about DNA as much as I did when I was a kid, and I still love learning about it as an adult. So thank you so much for reading with me. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.